Okay, so earlier we've been able to connect our text label here and our image and we were able to modify them through the code. Now what's left to do is connect these buttons. So whenever somebody taps this button, as you can see right now I'm tapping them but nothing happens. So we need to create actions in the code that whenever this happens we trigger some code that will increase or decrease the bits per minute. Alright, so let's do this. Let's go to Xcode and go to your interface controller dot um, H file, okay, and right below let's create some actions. So one for the plus button and one for the minus button. So just pull a dash and a parenthesis IB action for interface builder action and then it has autocomplete that pops in. Press enter so you can start writing. The selector is basically the name of the action. Um, I'm going to write increase, increase bit, okay, and the sender just put ID sender and put a semicolon at the end and we're going to create the next action, IB action, decrease beat, okay, and same thing, okay. So once you have these, I want you to just copy both of the, both, both lines, edit, copy, okay, and go in your interface controller.m file. Once you're there, go all the way at the end, and you see where it says at end, go before this line, okay, and press enter a couple times, and just paste it, command V or paste, all right. Once you do that, I want you to basically uh, remove the semicolon and open and close um, a curly br bracket, okay? Same thing here, okay? So for both of them, you can even put a space, I want you to open and close. Now, you see something that happens here? As soon as I put an IP action, there's a sign here that appears. You guys see that? There's like a dot, an empty dot, okay? So that basically means that these are recognized as being actions to be fired or triggered, but they are not connected, so I'm going to have to connect them. So you see those empty uh, circles? They're going to get filled up very soon. So I'm going to the interface.storyboard, and right here in the main where I see those buttons, I'm going to click on the plus button and go to the connector tab, and right here under the send action, I want you to drag and drop this to the interface controller. Once you do that, release it and select the increase bit. Okay, so now the plus one is connected to the increase bit action in the code. Let's do the same thing for the decrease bit. So I'm going to select the minus one, the minus button, click on this selector, drag and drop this right here in the interface controller and select the decrease bit. All right, so now this one also is connected. I see it here. So if I go to my interface controller.m, I see that the dot is, n is filled now. It's full dot, which means that it is connected, both of them. All right, so, so far so good. So obviously nothing happens right now because we don't have any code, but know that whenever we click on this button, this is the one that's going to trigger the action, and this is the one that's going to trigger the, the other action. And that's basically where we're going to type all the good stuff of what we want to go. Uh, to happen, okay? So this is here and there that we're going to type all the good stuff for any actions. All right, thanks for watching. Now, in the next lecture, we're actually going to do something great, okay? We want to animate the uh, image depending on the beat speed, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next lecture.